Uh, yeah, uh, really tough losses, to be honest. Uh, two very different games. Uh, Marquette, uh, it was a game that was, was strange, slow start. We allowed them to get on top of us, and then we were chasing the game. But uh, looking back on the game, there's we have no business uh, losing losing that game. Uh, we we did plenty in that game to even come back on those uh, those goals we gave away. Uh, and, uh, and, and we didn't finish our chances, and, and it, they made it very difficult. They just packed it in, and it is what it is. Uh, next game, going to Providence, very difficult place to play. A very talented team all over the field, a, a experienced team. Uh, but uh, another game where uh, we started pretty well and then ended up giving away a, a penalty kick uh, and then chasing the game again. Uh, again, had plenty of chances to get back into the game. Um, tried to fight and claw our way back in uh, and ended up coming up short again. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's frustrating uh, from a standpoint of our team is doing a heck of a lot right. Uh, and they are they're giving themselves a chance to get these results and we're playing we're dominating a lot of the play in, in all four of our first first games of, of Big East and we've come up short each time so you know uh, we're gonna fight and claw and uh, keep keep fighting to get it right because uh, this team has the ability to, to put uh, some wins on the table. Well, first it starts with the accountability and honesty of, of where did it fall short. Uh, and, and we're always looking at that as, as coaches and, and, and the players. And uh, they're handling it quite well because uh, when we look at the film, we look at the stats, we look at what we're doing in these games. Like I said, it's a lot of great stuff. Uh, but the game's about putting the ball in the back of the net and keeping it out. And, uh, and, and, and we're falling short uh, on those sides of it. And... Um, we got to pay close attention to that, to that, and uh, continue to to build on what we're doing very well. Uh, because once we get hot, and once we get into the flow, and and put together the right performances uh, for for 90 minutes, then uh, we're a team that uh, can do a lot of, of of great things this year. Even though we're starting 0 and 4, uh, we're in a fight, uh, and we we believe in ourselves as a team, and. Uh, we're, we can't wait till Thursday, to be honest. We can't wait to, to show up and, and give it another, another shot to get it right, because we can. Coach, you got St. John's going up next. They just played each other. Give us a quick rundown of what you saw in that match. And kind of yeah, St. John's is a, overall just always a, a pretty uh, consistent team. Uh, they, they find ways to get results. They're pretty technical across the board. Uh, uh, they're organized. Uh, and. Um, uh, they're a difficult team to play, uh, but I think it's a good matchup for us. I, I mean, we're going to go into the game uh, putting our stamp on the game against them and, and trying to, to, to dominate the game again, but reward ourselves with putting the ball in the back of the net. Uh, Villanova is a team that's uh, really done well this year. They've gotten a lot of great results, and uh, uh, they've really uh, strengthened their, their full roster. And that's not an easy place to go play, but no place is in the Big East. And uh, so, uh, again, we're, we're focused on this, this Thursday game, but really just the, the, the week. I mean, we want to put points on the table, and we're doing everything possible to get those points. And uh, I love my team because they, they really put the effort for it, they're planning for it, and they expect it. They're, they're expecting to get wins uh, in these next couple games. I, I don't think we talk enough about Keelan and what she's been produced through this team and everything. What have you kind of seen from her over the years that uh, has grown to what she has become, even though we, we have given up quite a bit of goals this year? But yeah, I mean, she's reliable. Uh, she really is. She's one of those players that has good presence in the back line, and we know what we're going to get out of her. Uh, we know she can make the game-winning saves uh, because she's done it. So uh, it's having that confidence in her and uh, her continuing to keep her head up because she has given up uh, uh, six goals in, the, in this last, last week, and uh, not, not her fault. Uh, these are, we give up goals as a team, uh, and uh, – I think uh, you do need to look at, she is a very big part of what we're trying to do this year. Momentum is a powerful thing, and right now it's sliding the way that you don't want. But you have six opportunities in front of you, and it can turn in one match, specifically possibly the St. John's match here at home. How do you keep your team motivated? You said they're handling it well, but how do you keep them on point to believe that this 
this next match will turn the tide? Well, it comes down to doing it. Uh, and uh, we're going to put together the plan, the effort, the attitude with it, and the team has that. I mean, it's not something that I'm having to, to you know, just uh, fake it through it. I mean, really, they, they believe that they're going to get these points. They believe they can turn it at any moment, and the key is I do too. I, I truly do. We have, we have the ability and the, the potential to, to start with this win on, on, uh, on Thursday, and uh, we're going to put the effort forward for it.